Hey everyone, welcome back. Got another riding video here. Oh, I am wearing the Flexi Freeze vest because it is hot and humid. Uh, I do have the uh, link in the description. It makes a big difference. Wow, what a difference it makes. I feel cooler. I don't feel as sweaty. Um, what can I say? It, I just feel cooler overall. Okay, uh, I'm ready. I'm just gonna head straight <laughs> to uh, the lunch line. Let's uh, get the battery set up. Bike is turned on. I tuned. I tuned the bike, or I—I uh, I sh I should say I—I I tightened the the bike a little bit. I had to replace the uh, the tire, uh, the inner tube in the rear. Uh, LSS5, gear seven. All right. So let me, let me tell you, if I didn't have a knife on me to cut that tie, I don't know if I'm going to, uh, if I was going to be able to uh, uh, replace the inner tube. So I checked the uh, tires, they look like they're inflated, they feel like they're inflated, excellent. Uh, the flexi vest, it, it makes a difference. Uh, today is a lot more humid, a lot more humid today, or it feels a lot more humid, that's for sure. And it's probably warm, it's in the 90s. And but right now I don't feel it because I have the flexi vest on. And uh, oh yeah, if you like this uh, kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. How are you handling your hot summer days? Some people, you know, just go down to a tank top and sandals. I have sandals, but I have the one that uh, is covered, uh, covers my toe, Crocs. Usually I would be, uh, let's say they, they cut the grass out here a little bit, which is good. Ugh. Now usually uh, if, the, if there was no coronavirus pandemic, I'd be going into the pool and cooling off that way, but the pools are, uh, well, the pools are open, but they're all reservation only. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go go out there just yet. I gotta wait here. There's a group of cars. And a Tesla. A lot of Teslas around here. All right. Now I'm gonna go. All right. Okay. All right. All right, things are going good. So I wear like uh, outdoor socks so they can get wet and uh, not like regular socks, like because I'm wearing the uh, Crocs that are basically sandals. So uh, I wear those. I still wear those. Another reason why I wear all this stuff is, uh, man, the UV, UV rays are intensive. Like, now although I'm only out here like maybe two hours or an hour, just being in the sun like this all the time, and you can get a sunburn. Well, you don't really get sunburned, but it's summer now. You're probably gonna be out more often. Just wanna protect yourself so you don't get a sunburn. Oh, 
the speedometer up ahead. Let's see if I could uh, see how fast I'm going. I'm probably going about 20, maybe 25 to 24, maybe 23. It says 21, 22. Okay, I'm going 22. Let's see what the GPS says on it. Okay, it says 22. So at 14 miles, I'm going 22-ish, which is fine. The thing about the Red Mini is that uh, it's a smaller wheel, 20 inch wheel. So it's hard to get top speed out of this, but you get uh, you get a good torque. You get good torque. So now if I have, some, it feels like I got headwind, but it doesn't see, I don't see any wind. The tree's blowing, so I'm just probably going through the air, but if you get some tailwind and a slight downhill, whew, it's possible for you to, to, uh, it's possible for you to go up to 28, but this is, this is good enough for me, this is fast enough. Speed, speed can get you injured, I know, because I broke my hand broke my hand. I'm recovering very well, although it's not it's not quite the same as it was. I lost some strength in my right hand. But it's uh, recovering. It's just a matter of time. It's going to take some time. All right. So I got the uh, Flexi Freeze Ice Vest. Oh, I'm feeling cold, but I'm starting to feel a little sweaty because it's, it is humid. So around my neck, my neck, underneath my armpits, they're feeling sweaty. But the core, the core of my body, the core of my body, it's, uh, it's cool. It's very cold, actually. I might have put on, I might have put this on too tight. I should loosen it so I can get some airflow in it, but it doesn't need airflow. Is it making a difference right now? Uh, yeah, I would, I would have to say yes. Overall, I'm not feeling overheated. I'm not feeling overheated. So when I put this flexi vest on, I usually. I've been using it for about a week now and even inside the house or when I'm outside doing yard work or whenever I feel overheated or I feel hot even inside the house I'll, I'll pop it on I'll start wearing it with the uh, the flexi fleas uh, panel and uh, and uh, I'll start cooling off immediately I notice I don't sweat as much. Let's go down here. It's a little rocky. Okay. All right. So I notice I don't sweat that much. I don't, uh, and I feel like I could, uh, I could go a little bit longer. I don't get heat exhausted, which sometimes it's a problem. Sometimes it is. Because I don't bring water with me. Usually I don't bring water with me because I'll go to the clubhouse, but the clubhouse is closed. The water fountains are turned off. That's part of the uh, planned opening guidelines from the CDCs. They turned off the water faucets, so you have to bring your own water, but I'm already packed. I got my... Oh, I just saw a nail in the road. <laughs> Try to avoid another nail. Anyways... You know, I carry my emergency supply. I had to reorder some new inner tube. I always carry two. Oh, every time I hear a sound on my tire, I get a little nervous. I carry two inner tube with me, just in case, you know, front and back tire. You got two tires, so you need two inner tubes. So every time I start using one, I order, I immediately order another inner tube so 
that way yeah, I don't forget and then one day I'm riding around and get another nail in the tire and I have no inner tube, no inner tube. Worst case scenario, I'll get two front and back, front and rear, go flat and uh, you uh, you have no you have no inner tube or you have you have one inner tube but if you got two flat tires it doesn't do you any good. So I always carry an extra two inner tubes on me. Gotta watch out if there's any nails here. Slow down a little bit. Ooh. So and always carry something that you can cut cut the zip ties with. Because if I didn't have a knife on me, I wouldn't have uh, been able to change out the tire. Or maybe I maybe I would have. It would have been really difficult. But I could. I could. But it, it just would have been way too difficult. Too cumbersome. It's just, it's just a lot easier if you had the wheel off. And you're able to work with the wheel without being tied to the motor. A lot easier. I guess you could. Technically, you could probably change out the tire with the uh, the motor attached, the wiring still attached. But man, it's just it would have it just would have been a little bit more painful to work around with. continues and lives on a few maintenance just a few maintenance a few maintenance uh, and upkeep uh, so uh, the tires are still original although the rear tire is is wearing thin but the uh, the knobs on the rear tire are on the red mini on these uh, I think they're called Kinder Crusades they're they're really thick thicker than the Rad Rover if I do get new tires, I might get the, the new tires from Rad Power Bikes with the reflecting sidewalls, the reflectors on the sidewall. No trains today. Cloudy. Ooh, I gotta slow down. The bicyclist, cyclist in front of me, slow down a little bit. Gently pulling on the brakes. Gotta wait for this guy. Okay, that guy's going to the right. I think I might have a go ahead. I do, I'll take the sidewalk. There's a lot of traffic right now. So I'm just gonna take the sidewalk. Hopefully there's nobody around. And if there is, I'll just go around them. Go on the grass, you know. Oh, it must be 11 o'clock. I think it is 11 o'clock. My alarm is going off. As soon as I get to a, a corner or some place to stop, I'll uh, turn off the uh, the alarm. All right. Oh, looks like they're laying some pipe work, or they might lay in some pipe work here. straight anyway and just wait for the green light. I'll just 
this stuff right here. All right, got my music back. I'm listening to the Power Beats Pro. I got a little bug. I think I got a bug in my glasses on the inside. I can see it. Anyways, I'll take care of that later. As long as it doesn't bother me or go into my eye, I think I'll be fine. Uh, okay, so this icy vest works works really well. It lasts it lasts about like really like two hours. It's probably work when it works the best, the two hour time frame. Uh, but you, in my experience, you can wear wear it up to four hours because even though it's not that cold, it does still help you cool down because of the ice packets the where they're set up. And you know, as you're wearing the vest, you get a little airflow you can get airflow because the way the ice the ice packets are chambered or sectioned I'm gonna go in the water here see what see what it's like uh, you get good airflow in the and instead of the ice packets cooling you off it starts absorbing your heat eventually after four hours the ice packets itself oh look at these ducks what are these ducks waiting for they're waiting for a little fish stuff to swim up so the water has gone down there's the swallows over there oh I see some turtles some turtle activity I see some of the mud runoff there's a turtle right there I see the turtle okay. oh, it smells like stagnant water the throttle, throttle only. It's slow, but it does get up there. It's slow, but it does get up there. There you go. I'm off the throttle now. All right. Ooh. Looks like they're laying down some. I, don't, I think that's water. I think that's water. I'm not sure. If those are water pipes or drainage. I think they're water. We're building some new homes out here, so I need that water. All right, I'm at the high school. All right. Yeah, I'm a I'm a gig worker. I deliver food to my children. That's my job as a man of the house. I ride the bike. Make sure the family's functioning, everything's okay. Make sure the security of my house and my property is okay. I'm not a breadwinner, technically. That's all right, I enjoy what I'm doing right now. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I'll see y'all later, bye. Yeah.